All right, so I made a video like last week about Tommy Gloag and guess what? He's won a Lavenir stage. So this stage, again, not very hilly. The break was up, up the road. This was sort of a small group that just went off the front with 56k to go. Strong group, Kasper Van Unden there. He's already won a stage, super strong boy. Tommy Gloag, of course, couple Norwegians who are always good as well. Um, so yeah, like basically a big break. And this going was interesting, to be honest. I couldn't believe it did go at the time because it didn't really make sense. It wasn't that hard. There's a break of three up the road. So we're going to go through some of the guys here um, on the screen ahead of you, uh, in front of you, sorry. Uh, and the break, to be honest, like this sort of split didn't get m too much time straight away. And it wasn't like, you know, they were let off. It was the fact they were just stronger. You know, that these are all strong, strong riders pulling through uh proper proper pace line you know it's hard to bring that back without a really concentrated effort so 49k to go then catch the three up front and you can see the bunch is not far behind do you see what i mean like they didn't get let go like the bunch is still chasing you know if, if the bunch had sat up they'd ha they'd have ages but anyway this break has a good good gap and i think what i want mean is like so australia's now chasing this they didn't really have anyone to move the break then split there was a lot of sort of camera issues Gloag managed to get front group, Kasper Van Onden and the German rider as well. They were all ahead with like 3.8k to go. And the second group chasing, like, it looked like they could come back if they really worked. But you just know these guys guaranteed podium, like podium in Lavenir is like not world tour contract guaranteed, but not far off it. So anyway, he just absolutely whacked it, Tommy Gloag, looking strong. And I think the reason I want to make this video more than just, you know, showing you one, this stage is not that hilly. This is the final of the stage. And it's really not that hilly. And I think it goes to show Tonglo, maybe not the pure climber people think he is. Like, he's a big boy here, you can see. Um, in, like, you know, he's not a tiny 58 kilo climber. He's definitely a big lad. And 300 meters to go, you can see it's going uphill. Here comes the sprint. Kasper von Unden comes out early. And Tonglo just basically batters him. We're going to go zoom to the next camera shot in a minute. And you can see around this corner, just far too much for the man. So, again, goes to show... Tom Gloag potentially better on the medium mountain stages. You know, this is a 0.9k at 5%, which was the finish line, a 1.9k at 4%. It was up and down all day, but not the super hilly stage that you'd expect. Um, the bunch coming through now, um, you sorry, that wasn't Casper Von, that was uh, Adam Holm and Michael Hessman who came second and third. Sam Watson managed to get a top 10 as well. He's gone well tour, obviously. Um, this is Casper Von and come across the line now. This is the remnants of the break. Um, but yeah, I think it goes to show maybe not the, the pure climber you'd expect. Average speed day, 44 and a half K an hour, so pretty quick. Um, but yeah, only 1400 meters of climbing in 140 K. So again, not super hilly. And this is the rest of the, the remnants of the bunch coming together. Um, looks like, you know, a couple of people lost some time today. Um, but anyway, Tom Glag went into, um, the leader's jersey by three seconds. Um, ahead of Michael Hessman or Mikael Hessman from Germany, uh, and everyone else is sort of more or less 36 seconds back uh you know a large bunch up to sort of 36 riders on the same time um so anyway that was the lavanier today interesting stage and i'll um join you with some more lavanier footage i assume uh in the next couple of days uh in the mountains